I'm super excited to show you a new way of writing Visual Studio extensions. I'll be using the community developed open source extensibility essentials set of tools that makes this easier than ever. It's a simple extension that I just install into Visual Studio and that's all I need to get going. For this video, I'm going to solve a problem that I've had for many years, which is how I can insert a GUID into any code file with a single click of a button. So let's dive in. I'm going to create a new project and I'm going to filter the templates to the extensions category and then scroll down to find the v6 project with command community. I'm going to give it a name. Let's call it insert GUID. My v6 project is now created and I can start exploring the different files. Let's look at the v6 manifest. This is where the metadata around my extension is all stored. So I want to touch up the name and give my extension a good description and then save the file when I'm done. My extension icon is located right here. Now let's take a look at the Visual Studio command table file. This is where commands are declared. Here's my button or command and I'm going to give it a name. Let's call it insert GUID. Now that's the text that's going to figure on my command. We're also going to give it a canonical name, kind of a unique identifier. And we can see that the parent of my command is defined right above it. And it also has a parent called tools. So it's in the tools top level menu. But we really want it in the edit menu. It's also important that I get my command a nice looking icon. All the thousands of images that are stored in Visual Studio that I can freely use show up in IntelliSense. And I even get a preview. And this is the right one for my extension. Next, I want to look at the package class. This is the entry point for most extensions. And we don't actually have to do anything here, but you can see this is where my command is being registered. So let's take a look at the command. There's hardly no code involved in handling a command click. We just have to overwrite the execute async method. And in our case, we want to insert the GUID. So we're going to grab an instance of the active document view. Next, we want to get the text view selection so that we can insert the GUID on top of whatever is selected. Let's first check if our selection is null. Now we can simply replace the selection with a new GUID directly in the text buffer. To run the extension, simply hit F5 and a new instance of Visual Studio is going to start up with the extension already installed. As Visual Studio starts up, I'm going to open a file and make a selection. Now let's see if we can find our command. Go to the edit menu and there it is, insert GUID. Clicking it will insert a new GUID on top of our selection, just like the code we wrote. The output of an extension project is a v6 file. It's located in the output folder. This is the file you'll upload to the marketplace or send to your friends and colleagues. So that was an example of a simple yet very useful extension that was easy to write with the Extensibility Essentials tools. So make sure you go ahead and download and install those. And I can't wait to see what extensions you're going to write.